The closer we get to the release of Commander Masters, the more this product looks like it's designed to trick and fool players into thinking it's something that it's not. So in today's video, we'll go over the reasons why this product is lying to you and why it's not going to live up to your expectations. Here we are together again. Welcome back everyone, MTG Moxman here, and thanks again for hanging out with me on the channel today. Wizards of the Coast right now probably feels like they're on cloud nine. They think they've got everything figured out. Lord of the Rings is hitting all the right gears, levers, everything they could have hoped for. It's going the right direction for them. And when they look at their next product lineup, which is going to be Commander Masters, they figure they've got another hit just waiting to happen. And at first glance on paper, it should be. When you first heard the title, Commander Masters being released, many players got super excited for all the new cards they'd be able to experience with a new product lineup like this. A lot of uh, players likened it to Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons 2. But this isn't what they gave us. This is where the deceit starts off. They gave us a great name that attracts a very large piece of attention from the player base because Commander is the most played format. Wizards knows this, they want to tap into it. They gave you the name, just like Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate, they gave the name, and the name comes with it a certain amount of excitement. That's mistake number one for most people, but we're going to play this out. Now they give us the price point. Just like Double Masters 2022, this is a very expensive product. Everything from the collector boxes to the draft and set, this is going to make them a lot of money. They figure they put a certain price point attached to it and players will realize there's going to be real value, real excitement inside this box, which is why you got to buy it. Because with the price point that high, it can't fail, right? It can't be bad. That's mistake number two. Because when you look at this set, it's a reprint set. You know if you've been on my channel for a while, I'm not big on reprint sets right now because they are over-valuating their reprint equity. They are killing it with each and every reprint with no management system in place to make sure some cards retain some certain value level. Now let's go back to that first point. The name. Commander Masters. Great name. Modern Horizons. Modern Horizons 2. New cards, right? No, not really. Unlike those other two sets I mentioned, Modern Horizons and Modern Horizons 2, which gave us so many new cards, you're only getting 40, and they're mainly in the Commander decks. Yes, you'll get them inside the collector boxes and set boxes as specialty cards and stuff. I get it. But generally speaking, those Commander decks are where the value is going to be. I've mentioned it in previous videos. That is going to be the hottest selling thing because things like Slivers and Eldrazi attract a lot of attention. Remember that. Attract attention. So already this product is not lining up like it's supposed to in most players' minds. I'm not saying everyone thought that way, but a lot of players did. It's masquerading as something that it's not. It's a nightmare of deceit and lies waiting to happen, playing on a good marketing gimmick campaign. That's what they're playing on. They got the price point, they got the name, they're giving you some new cards, 10 for each commander deck, which is 40 new cards in total, but it's not what players expected. I know when I first saw it, and I'm fairly new to Commander, I've only been at about a year and a bit, and I'm still building decks, I was expecting a whole bunch of new cards, not a whole bunch of reprints, that will be devalued within a few months as the market crashes down. And as you see, somebody buying a super expensive box, because it's supposed to hold value, right? And it gets killed off. The way they've engineered the marketing, engineered the product lineup, and the way they're presenting it to you presents a certain level of prestige. This is special. This is unique. This is something you want to buy. But it is a reprint product. All these cards exist for the most part, except for those 40 new cards. So couldn't you just go buy the 40? I know I've kind of rehashed this, but I can't help but keep hitting this, this point home because it doesn't seem to be sticking in sometimes. I feel like it doesn't get the message through to everyone that you've just got to be cautious with products like this. We've seen them play out with things like Double Masters 2022, Double Masters, other premium products you see in my background right here. It's not what it is. 
It is a cash cow being milked for the benefit of the company. And yes, it does bring prices down, making cards affordable. I understand all that. It makes it affordable for other players at the expense of somebody buying it, thinking they're getting something unique and special that they're really not because it's a reprint set. And this is where I find such a hard time accepting these types of products now. I love new cards coming into the game. It's the most exciting thing. So why wasn't Commander Masters designed, designed at least with 50 to 60% new cards that could be played in Commander? Unique cards meant only for Commander decks by examining the existing Commander deck themes used by players as the majority and as a baseline and then promoting new cards into previously unexplored areas of the game by giving a few new cards here and there that can be played in Commander, thus giving this set some definite value to hold in the future for their own IP and their own reprint equity in future sets, but also drive player value there for players who want to experience Commander and try something new. I just think they failed on so many levels, and again, I know everyone's going to say, you haven't seen the cards, you're right, I haven't, but I already have as well. Other than the, the cards are going to show us for these commander decks, those 40 new cards being introduced, 10 in each one, I don't need to see anything else. They already exist. Maybe new artwork. I, I agree. Could be some amazing artist is being talented enough to boom, put some crazy stuff out there, but they already exist. And that's why I think they failed because it, you can't tell me. You can actually, you can tell me in the comment section, but I don't think you guys can tell me honestly that if they didn't put 60% new cards in there, a whole bunch of new stuff, exploring different areas of Commander that they couldn't have driven home more value for the future, for the current market, and built real hype and excitement by showing new cards nobody's ever seen before. How hard would it be with Commander being as large and diverse as it is? They could have just, they could have sent all kinds of craziness out there for players to explore and have fun with in the game and maybe brought in new players and new experience for players who haven't built with those types of decks before. It just shows a real lack of effort on the part of Wizards of the Coast. How difficult, with this much time between sets, how difficult would it have been for the company's R&D department, for Rosewater and the team, to create a whole bunch of new cards in a casual format, they should have been able to experience and gone hog wild. And that's what players are excited for, even though it's not happening. Even though this set is not giving you what it should, and what the name seems to imply, and the pricing point seems to imply, they're not giving you what they're supposed to be giving you. This is not Modern Horizons 2. This is not Modern Horizons. They're not going back to give you new things. They're giving you a couple of little tastes of something new with a higher premium price point to trick you into thinking it's something it's not. They gave us the name recognition, which is nothing new. They tried that with the Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. It's just a lack of effort. It's a lack of trying. Imagine how different this product would have been if it was a 290 card set and there was only 80 reprint cards inside and the rest were something new. I understand cards can be crazily built because it's casual and maybe they'd have to ban some stuff later on, but they also could have done so much more to get the players and keep the players excited about new products like this because this isn't really a new product. It's a product designed to look like a new product. It's designed to tell you I'm a new, it's speaking to you, the player saying, I'm new, I'm exciting, look at, look at me, you want to look at, but it's not. It's a marketing gimmick that is bound to fail on any hardcore player who's been around the block a bit, who's a little more media savvy. But so many of our players are going to walk in and they're just going to buy a few packs, they're going to buy a few boxes. It's going to happen. It's going to be successful. Maybe not as successful now because Lord of the Rings has taken a lot of wind out of the sails because that set has a lot more going for it with all these new, unique cards. Imagine they had done that for this. I just feel they really left a lot on the table, on the cutting room floor with nothing left. 40 new cards at that price point is ridiculous. Yeah, they'll put some great premium cards that you'll be chasing after, but they already exist. It's, it's a new wrap on an old tin can. It's the same thing under the hood. Either way, I hope that it fails and brings them back to the drawing board. I hope it's not successful. 
It's not that I don't want players to have affordable cards. I, I want them to be affordable myself, but there has to be a certain level of value to these cards or what's the point? Anyone can just proxy a card nowadays. You don't have to have the real deal. But for those of us who like to collect the real cards, like to experience the artwork and all that, we do need new cards, not just a rehash reprint year after year. And just because they put a fancy new name, gave it a premium price, it doesn't mean that it's anything new. Unless you give us something new, like you did with Lord of the Rings. It's going to be a fascinating time, guys. I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comments section. Thanks for hanging out with me today on the channel. You guys are an amazing audience to be with each and every day. Big shout out and thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. We are getting closer each and every day to that 20,000 subscriber mark. So thanks again to my regular viewers who come back each and every day and the new viewers who are just recently finding the channel. It's amazing to have you all here every day and I'm kind of honored to be able to have these conversations with you. So thanks again. We'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Let's take a moment here to thank all the fantastic patrons on the channel who make content like this possible each and every day. Guys, a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons. You guys make it happen. Thanks again for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. You made it to the end. Good for you. You're now part of an elite group of end credit scene Marvel Cinematic Universe style stuff I like to do here at the end. Good for you. Shows you can stick through and follow through on things. Not everyone can say that. Not everyone, trust me. Different world out there nowadays with the youth we deal with. So for all you guys who can do this and, and make it through and have that much concentration, wow, I'm blown away. Now you just gotta remember, in the comment section, Necronomicon, baby! And that's how I know. That's how I know that concentration level is still with you after all this time of being here on my videos. Guys, thanks a lot, man. Hope you're having an awesome day in the world of magic. Thanks for sticking around. And yes, I hate this product without even seeing it. It's not fair. It doesn't have to be logical. I'm going with my gut on this one, and I still feel if they'd done it a different way, it would have been huge. So there we go. Thanks again for being here.